Congratulations on winning Love Island. Oh, thank you so much. How thank are you feeling? You. I have a lot of feels. It's like a whirlwind. Because ever since we won, it's been like boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. um, the amount of support and love that we've gotten is just like, I did neither of us expected it. Like, it's just been beautiful. Um, all the comments, all the messages, it's just been, yeah, it's a lot to take in. And I'm just, we're just really grateful. Yeah, for me, coming from a guy who had no idea what Love Island was, never saw a season, um, never even saw an episode. My friend went on it last year. I guess he made it to the finals and he told me about it, but I never even watched it. Uh, so to go in there blind and not know anything was kind of crazy. <sighs> what else? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, so, like, I didn't realize there was that many people watching it. Like, I didn't realize we couldn't walk through Disneyland and not get noticed at every, at every like, alleyway. And I thought when I was in the villa in Fiji, I just, I didn't think anybody was even watching them. It just felt like it was normal life. Didn't really care about that. So I'm kind of blown away because I didn't even know what Love Island was to begin with. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Well, your journey in the villa must have been a whirlwind. When did you both know or realize that you had a connection with each other? Um, I realized when Marco like opened up to me, it's kind of like in the villa. It starts off, things are surface level. Where are you from? What do you like to do for fun? What's your dog's name? Like, all <laughs> stuff like that. But then when we got, like, deeper with our emotions and, like, he opened up. So that made me want to open up, like, about our past and stuff like that. So that's when, um, yeah, when we got to know each other, I realized that we really aligned. And I was like, wow, this is what I, he has the values that I'm looking for in a partner. And then we went from there. Awesome. For me, you know. As cliche as it is, I, I knew it right away. Um, what I what I did find that was kind of unique is in the villa, a lot of the Islander boys said, you know, they don't have a type. I've never met a man that doesn't have a type, but they definitely said, you know, all of us are gorgeous. And, you know, they, they played the everything card. I think that's what ended up putting them in jeopardy. I came in there. I knew exactly what I wanted, you know, tan skin, brown hair, athletic build. So as soon as I w saw her walk in from the hideaway, I, I mean, I remember flying up out of my seat and like kind of jogging over to give her a hug. I kissed her on the cheek. So I knew right away, you know, as soon as she smiled, coming out and said, hey, everybody. You know, I mean, I knew that, you know, she was the one just off that look. I could just tell. So when you know, you know, and I never knew what that meant. But when I saw her, I was like, yeah, that's my type. Number one, her smile. And she's athletic. Take me away. <laughs> I love that. Well, I know that the island is known for a lot of twists. So were there ch what challenges or activities do you guys feel like really brought you to even closer after that instant connection? Casa. <laughs> I got a video of this man with his ex. Like, come on now. If that's not building trust in our connection, and we still, we said we were closed off. But it's still so new, like we were boyfriend and girlfriend. Like it's still in the back of your mind, like you never know what could happen. So Costa was so hard for me because like no one else was in the same position as me. Like having the guy that they're in love with, they're because everything gets more complicated when you bring in the past. So I really had to put our trust in what we've said and in our connection and just stay strong and it paid off. Um, but that was the toughest for me. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say Casa was tough for me as well, um, but it also made us, you know, stronger. Um, I'm not a big outside guy. I'm very clean. So sleeping outside was, you know, <laughs> a struggle for me knowing. It's very clean. But I'm like, uh, I knew sleeping outside was the right thing to do. I didn't feel comfortable, you know, sleeping next to a girl, even if there's a pillow in between and I, you know, roll over. I still didn't feel comfortable. I wanted to do a sleep with Hannah, even if my ex was in there, like I said an ex situation ship was an ex girlfriend. I don't know why they clout chased me just to get that one out there. I'm still pissed off about that, but uh, it was an ex situation ship. It was not a girlfriend um, because it made me kind of look like different. Cause I told her I never had like a true girlfriend other than out of high school. So I hated for that to come across and that's how they were worrying it, but it is what it is. Uh, other than that. Yeah, it was, it was, you know, it's not even close. I, I don't even think one hand it compares to the other, you know what I mean? So I just, I, I shut it down right away. Um, but she, she, yeah, she, I got close with Hannah. Yeah, yeah. But as soon as I met her, I started laughing because I was like, Hannah? Like, and you see my reaction, like, when I meet her. I just thought that was the funniest thing. And I just, finding out, too, that he got a text saying, hashtag reunited with Hannah. Like, you can't make this <laughs> up. Like, it was just so ironic. So, at the end of the day, we laughed it off. Me and Hannah, we became cool. So, 
it's just yeah that's a twist that you don't expect something like that but i was so yeah. mad <laughs> I, was so I i was i was so mad i don't know how they you know got my expression to be halfway decent because i was beyond pissed it said hannah hashtag reunited remember love island's expect the unexpected but i really thought Kenzo comes up and he's like, bro, this is what, when you believe in God and you do the right thing, you sleep outside, he's going to reward you. You're going to see Hannah today. All the boys thought it was going to be Hannah. Like I'm jumping up and now fired up and, and that Hannah walks in. I was like, oh my God, there's no way they just did this to me. This is, they are wild for that. They yeah. Wild. You never know <laughs> what to expect on Love Island, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, you had romantic dates. There was the dramatic recouplings on the show. But was there a moment for both of you in your relationship that stood out as a takeaway from the show? Like, what do you really think back on when you think of your experience? Mm -hmm. um, when I was sitting on the beach with him, um, after the family calls, um, and I didn't know... I don't know throughout this whole experience I've learned like we're very you can't just assume somebody is like you never know what someone's thinking so that whole day we did a challenge and like we didn't know I didn't know that Marco felt this way after family day and um yeah he was feeling emotional he saw everyone else's moms um in besides those family Bergie. calls besides Bergie yeah um and so like I would I never thought that that was something on his mind so then um him telling me that like he's thinking of his mom and then ha us having that moment was very um big for me because it's like yeah that's something it's it's hard dealing with loss and then especially of a parent so um yeah that was very I just felt nice that he felt comfortable opening up to me about um his mom yeah, even the, the amount of trust I have with Hannah, I still don't, you know, talk about my mom to anybody. It's something that, you know, I never bring up, let alone bring it up on the largest stage, you know, in America. But um, it was a hard day. Yeah, alcohol abuse is something that's going rapid in the United States, especially, you know, I know in Mexico, it's pretty, it's pretty apparent too. But, you know, my mom, you know, abused alcohol and just, I can go into a million things about it. But I don't, I don't like to open up about it because people have their, you know, views on alcohol it's in a lot of families it's in a lot of parties it's in you know culture, yeah. the culture it's just so for me I kind of like to sit in my silence and but when I saw that WebEx meeting and you know my mom wasn't on it I pulled Bergie aside for kind of uh, a chat I don't know if that was aired or not and I asked Bergie you know like hey we're the only two without our moms in there like are you okay he was like no I'm just re he read his journal he had uh, letters from his mom but he would copy all the letters from his mom into his journal so he would read that and um, for me, I stuck at, I stuck it out and stuck it out and stuck it out. And then after I saw those family videos, it just kind of hurt me. And I went through the day and that's when I found out kind of her middle name, you know, I knew it was Maria the whole time that I realized like when she, when her mom introduced, you know, her on the uh, phone call kind of to me, you know, her name was Maria as well. Um, she had dark hair and red lipstick on. My mom always wore dark hair, red lipstick. So I mean, even if, you know, she's of the Mexican culture, my mom was an Italian, they resembled each other. So it really caught up to me. I just took time in the shower. And I, I just broke down in the shower and I got out there as fast as possible. I didn't even come get Hannah. Like I said, I don't like talking about my mom to anybody. Uh, yeah, so I, I, ran, saw him. I ran to my room. Yeah. I got dependent of my mom and I ran to the beach. And I just took off my mic. I threw it over my back and I was like, you know, I don't want anybody to see this. Uh, they did a great job, uh, you know, getting that genuine moment. And when she came up to me and had my back, it was a hard day for me because, you know, I miss my mom and she would be so proud of me and she would love her to death. So I just had a rough day and I put it off the whole season, uh, the whole summer. I put it off and I just couldn't I couldn't hold it anymore. So I just went to the beach and it happened to be, you know, one of the most special moments we shared. For sure. We saw you tell Hannah that you felt like your mom brought you to Hannah. Why do you feel like that? Uh, like I said, there's numerous amount of things. Definitely the, the name was unbelievable. I would say, you know, our parents share the same name. My mom's, you know, both our names are, both of their names are Maria. Uh, my mom always told me one thing. She's like, you know, physical looks can only go so far. You know, I want you to find a girl who values who you are, doesn't want you to change. And then the size of your heart, they got to see the size of your heart. And the first thing I asked her, I was like, why, you know, why do you love me? And she's like, because you have a big heart. 
And I'm like, wow, as soon as I saw that, uh, or as soon as I heard that, that was just un an unbelievable moment. Um, what else? I mean, there was, there was just- I've, You're giving me goosebumps over here. <laughs> so I, I actually thought, you know, she sent me, uh, Hannah, just, what else was it? What was the other reason? The main reason. I think it was the size of your heart. That's what you always told me. Yeah, size of my heart. Oh, and told me, you know, never to change who I was. And she was able to bring that out. I started off the show, you know, wearing an American style, you know, type outfit as small as how as little as my wardrobe. I was wearing oversized pants and stuff. You know, in the Italian culture, we're tailored to the, you know, the next, you know, finest thing. So I had my tailored clothes with me and my loafers and my Italian pin, but I was always so scared to wear it because I didn't want to be, you know, stereotyped like that. And she just kept telling me, you know, you could be yourself, just be you. I like you for being you. And I started slowly bringing it out. And that was something, you know, my mom wanted her to accept me for who I am. And, you know, my Italian ways or, you know, wearing my pin every time on my collared shirt. It's just something I grew up doing. And when I was able to do that, I just felt myself being able to be me. And when she would let me do that, the size of the heart, the mom, you know, our mom sharing the same name. And my mom honestly sent me her, you know, as an angel, you know, that she is my, you know. Yeah. she got the best for me so that's Absolutely. why yeah I think fans really found you guys so compelling because you were so authentic to yourselves to each other and even though we were watching it on a reality tv show it felt so genuine how did you maintain that authenticity in your relationship while knowing in the back of your minds that everything's being recorded anymore on a tv show I feel like me and Marco got really good at like tuning everything out, everyone in the villa sometimes, because it gets overwhelming. Um, yeah, those thoughts of like there's outside viewers. Um, yeah, so that really helped me, like just not thinking about it as much, but it is in the back of your mind. Um, and we're just always gonna be ourselves. Neither of us are the type who we can like um hide our emotions. You could mm -hmm. see my facial expressions. If I'm not feeling something, he will tell you how it is, which is what I love about him. Yeah. He's very blunt and he says what everyone's thinking. And that's the thing. Like Mark people always say, oh Marco, he's but I think the same thing is head. I just don't you say he's it. saying what you're but, thinking, right? Yeah. Exactly. So it's like I agree with what he's saying, but um I just don't voice it as a actively but like I like that he does that. Like I value that because I never wanted to to be with a guy who has to guess what they're thinking and who isn't being real with me. Uh, so yeah, we just were ourselves. And I guess that came across the people that we've been ourselves the whole time. So um, it's nice that people see that though, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. yeah, I was just glad to see America, you know, know that we are genuine and we're being ourselves the whole time. Uh, I said, I ran that place like it was my house. You know, I was in my underwear half did. the time. <laughs> I didn't give a shit what people saw of me. I changed in front of everybody, you know, naked half the time. You farted all the time. Farted all the time. Burped, maybe even got caught picking my nose, but I think I was, you know, itching in and you know, biting my nail. <laughs> so I, I, I really don't give really a Really real. But, yeah, I really didn't give a <laughs> what people saw. I knew, you know, in a competitive environment, uh, I kind of, I'm able to tune everything out. And believe it or not, that villa is a competitive environment. And so I just knew, you know, she was my biggest teammate. And if I could just, you know, relate to her and we could grow together, there was nobody that was able to, you know, compete with us. So definitely it was an amazing experience. So for sure. I'm very grateful. You had your first outing at outside of the villa and in the real world with the public <laughs> in Disneyland, we saw. How was that? I know at the beginning you said it was a little overwhelming with all the fans, but how was it to be out, be able to show off your love and be together in an area where it wasn't all cameras all the time? Yeah, like it was just great to feel normal like just to walk with each other like just to be out in the real world do real world yeah stuff. I was able to buy our lunch and stuff that felt amazing just yeah. being able to share you know kind of a cute little date with everybody I just felt you know normal again we weren't able, we haven't got sat down and served in I don't know how long so yeah go out to eat and yeah it was just so nice and then like the reaction from the public like you I really did not think people watched us like that I'll be honest with you like just because you don't think about that in there so just just and then it's still so fresh the show a lot of people came up to us like we haven't even seen the finale yet but can we take a picture and it's just like it was just so genuine mm -hmm. like to know that like we touched the lives of people and we've heard a lot of beautiful stories about how like we've been an escape for a lot of people who've been going through stuff and, and like that's why I watch reality tv too like it's good to take your mind off things so you know people are going through things so if we can help them get their mind off what they're going through like hey I'm all for it yeah we had um, a beautiful daughter and mother come up 
I would say the daughter was what nine. Yeah, yeah. She was about she, she was, was she was like, around seven to nine years old. Yeah. Watched every episode with her mom. Yeah. Grandma was there. I mean, the demographic of this show was unbelievable. It's so it's a wide range of people. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I was that. I was yeah, I was just blown away. Husbands were coming forward to us, be like, Yeah, my wife got me to watch it, but I'm absolutely in love with you guys. We got a picture <laughs> with just the husband, all the just the boys got it. Yeah. Uh the demographic was all over the place. And then there was yeah. even a moment, uh, a lady pulled me aside, she's like She's like, are you Marco? And I said, yeah. And she's like, like, oh my God, I'm like the biggest Love Island fan. And I just like was blown away. And she starts tearing up, like crying. And she, I was like, wait. And then so I call Hannah over and she just starts, she's like, oh my God, you're here too. And she just started crying. She's like, I've been through a lot, you know, with my family. My mom was in and out of the hospital all week. Uh, she's not doing too well, but I, my escape route was Love Island and reality TV. And you guys just helped me get through the hard time. This was like one of the worst weeks of my life, but now it's the best. And she just started crying. I was like, there's no way like we actually make people, you know, feel like this. So I called her over and we all got a group picture with her. Um, it was just amazing. Oh, well, like you guys said, your big hearts. I don't want to hold you up too long, but I am curious. Last question. Yeah. Have you talked? I know you said you're a planner. So have you talked about the future and what the plans are for the future? Are you taking it one day at a time right now? Oh, no, I'm a planner. Uh, <laughs> like I said, when I want something, I go out and get it. I have a big aspiration for us. I'm working with a couple of PR teams, you know, high key clout. Um, they, they're, they're one of the best. They, they're, they take care of a lot of A-list celebrities. So I, I hired them a while ago just to kind of build our platform. I have a great manager and Logan. Uh, he's, he got a lot rolling for us, but in the future plans, just stay together, build a connection, you know, record our lives. She's coming to Florida with me on Friday night. So that's exciting. Welcome baby. I've Mocha. never been to Florida. Yeah. It's just kind of like, me and Marco, we have big dreams and like, it's just so nice that we can do that together. And um, yeah, I'll definitely, I might be moving, Lord. So yeah. like, just because, yeah, we do want to be around each other and we mm -hmm. value our time together. And like, um, it's good to be able to grow with someone. People always, oh yeah, like Marco, I see him become a better person as you, but it's like, no, he's helping me to become a better person. It's just nice to see. We don't know what the future has in store, but. Um, but a know, move to Florida might be on the table. Oh yeah definitely <laughs> yeah that's it's just amazing because i'm fortunate enough to have my own place and i said you know that door's open for her whenever she wants to come and you know we have some fun things planned i know you're going to be you know watching i hopefully and catch, keeping up with us uh, i got fa we got an fau home game saturday and then yeah. we're going to have that place rocking so i definitely want to have everybody come out and you know support my school and you know everything i've done for them and what everything they've done for me so i'm just excited to bring her around campus and you know, have everybody fired up for the game, for our opening game. So I'm super excited about it because I was a football player. You know, I, I played, I did a spring for the team. Um, I played in Akron, Ohio. So definitely is uh, important to me, uh, the team aspect. And I would love for her to see that. Yeah, I'm excited. Tailgate, baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, we cannot wait to see your what your future holds because we love you guys. Thank Good you. luck with everything. And thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me today. Thank okay. you so much. Appreciate thank you for it. having us.